Well, hello, 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 everybody. I am back. I wanted to have gotten this video done sooner, but you know what? Isn't better later than never better? <laughs> or something along those lines. Anyway, it's just, I, 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 it's, I always have these great plans of how I'm going to get things done, and it doesn't always work out, and I apologize for that. It's just, I'm a busy girl, and I work, and I, and I, and I get tired, too. And some days, like yesterday, I was going to sit and get it all shot and going, and, and I got just really sleepy. Oh, okay, I'm going to take a power nap. I'm usually good for a 20-minute power nap. So I actually, I gave myself 10 minutes and I set literally my phone alarm or the little timer for 30 minutes. And when it went off, I was still really groggy and tired. I was, ah, so I hit, you know, I, I hit snooze for another 10. I figured that would do it. And I don't even remember turning it off the second time. However, I slept solid for three hours. So it just totally just ruined everything to the point where I, so I'm, I'm, I'm refreshed now and good. So I'm back here, um, with the projects from my, the Simon says, um, card kit. And these are the samples I, I've learned really, I need to make up samples before so I can work through a, a lot of this. So I don't make all the mistakes that I do on camera or try not to, but I'll try to take you through where I, I ran into trouble as I go along. So don't get Twitter painted. This is not the paper I use. This is just some old authentic paper that I discovered or rediscovered when I went looking to see what I had Valentine's wise. So I'm going to look online and see if I can find it. So if you guys like any of this paper I use on this, I, if I can find it still, I will link you in the, in the description for it, but I'm going to be using the paper from the so sweet kit for my this month this month's club kit from not the monthly club kit but just a kit I, I reviewed earlier with which uses all of the um, Cupid and Company. I'm gonna tell you right now I drove myself bat crazy yesterday trying to find the six by pad six by six pad. It is popular people. It's sold out everywhere. I could not find it anywhere. So it's gonna be one of those that I will probably I found one place and I will link you down below to the source that has it on pre-order, which means they're probably going to restock it. I hope so. So, and I think I might take my chances and pick up a couple of pads of the 6x6. So I really like this paper. So, and I'll just save it and use it for next year or whatever. I think it's really, really cute. But, so don't hate me. Nobody has it. But I'm sure, even with, I want to show you what I do with my kit. And I want to show you how to make the cards. Because you can just use your own paper to do this. And that was... The hat's the main reason I wanted to share these. So I've already, this time I'm prepared. I already have everything pre-cut. So that way we can just get through this a little bit quicker because I have three cards. So I'm going to try to make it so this is not monumentally long. So this is a very simple card, really easy to come together. And I put sentiments on the inside, use my heart. This one is, whoops, where'd it go? Ah, it fell. There you go. Butterfingers. This is a bit of a fancy fold with a little bite, you know, and it just opens up. So really, really cute, and just something that actually is. It's not difficult at all. It's just you got to get those scores. Trust me, I re I have the one that shows you where I scored wrong to prove that you can go wrong, or at least I can. And then, as I always love a shaker card, and I did learn something from this one, and it's a goof, but there you go. So these are all just really simple cards. So that's why I'm braving trying to do three of them in one video, okay? So give me a second. I'm going to move this, and then I'm going to get started showing you guys what I did. Be right back. All right, peeps. I am back, and I'm trying something a little bit different than I normally do because I tend to, when I'm working on stuff, I either have the TV going, YouTube on it, or I'm listening to music, and I felt like doing that right now. So I have some music in the background. So let's hope that this doesn't background, um, background <laughs> backfire on me. So I hope you enjoy. This is some soft music that I, I have picked out that, you know, just puts me in the mood. So anyway, I've decided that we're going to start with the fancy fold card first. Okay, so it will be this open up. And again, it's a really simple card. It should go together quickly because I have figured it out this time. So I'm going to start with... Oh, uh, this is a five and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. So I just took um, just a regular cardstock. So I cut this five and a half by 11. And then off that same strip, I cut away a belly band strip. And this is one and a quarter by 10. Or is it 11? Wait a minute. No, no, no. I haven't. This needs to be 10 inches. So there we go. See, I've already goofed. Oy. So much for doing this. Be prepared, huh? Best laid plans of Myra of mice and the mad scrapper right let's get that but see i'm glad i caught myself that's why because i'm referring to my handy dandy notes i do this when anything i'm watching I go, oh i want to do that i take this i take notes and i write down so and i meant to mention that i this is i'm not the originator of the idea i am not that talented peeper 
people. I got this from a video I watched done by Connie Stewart, who's another um, YouTuber. So um, go take a look at her. She's pretty cool. She's a Stampin' uh, a Stampin' Up person, but she has she's really quirky. I love her, and she does great things. So it's like yay. So I don't I I need to give credit where credit is due. So don't think I'm all that and a, and a bag of chips, folks. Unless it's Doritos, then it's a whole other ball of wax. Ball of wax. Those and Fritos. So the first thing I need to do with this is I need to score my folds. So I'm gonna whip out my favorite. This is now my current favorite scoreboard, the Caterpillar. I need to send him an email and say, so when are you guys gonna come out with a little one, huh, 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 huh? But I love this. It, it is just really is my totally my favorite. So I need to put in two scores. My first score is at one and a quarter. So I have, I score at one and a quarter inches, and then my next score is going to be at five and a half. Then before I put in the last score, I flip the card because the direction. I, when I fold everything, I, I was taught, and it's what I do, I fold into the mountain. So when you, for anybody that's new, when you're scoring your cards, you'll see there's a valley and a mountain for lack of a better term. So I always, as I was taught, and that's how I do it, I fold into the mountain. So now I'm going to go, my last score is going to be at nine and a quarter inches. I pull a little bit away, that way I can get into it. And I just put in, oh my goodness, I seem to be uncoordinated right now. Surprise, surprise. But I put in a nice, so I have my nice little scores. So now, let me put that away now. And I organized one of my cubbies, so now things go in, slide in a little bit better. But that's only one cubby, so don't get excited. That was just one cubby. And now I'm going to put, I'm going to fold, so I'm going to, this is, this is, I used the piece of Simon Says, so it's a nice weight. So I just, I'm going soft first on it, and then I'll burnish it, but I want it so I don't get it to crack. I don't know that it does, but I've had paper crack on me, so I have learned to be a little patient. And wait a minute. So here I go. I was not paying attention because why? Because I'm too busy talking. This one, this is the wider needed to be folded in the opposite direction, which is why. See, suddenly it folded much better. Duh. See, I'm telling you, it doesn't take much for me to go wrong. And then this one, how did I do this? No, I did do this right. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't you just love it? <laughs> I'm just, I never cease to amaze myself. Good God. So anyway. So there it is. I have my three folds. Now I'm going to grab my, and I just got this. This is the tonic bone folder. It's a Teflon bone folder. And I got it for to burnish my folds because I've loved this. I have had this bone folder easy 10 years since I got this like early on when I started scrapbooking within the first year. So it's been with me a long time. It is a bone bone folder. I love it. It's my favorite tool for, for scoring. But what it does when you do this, you burnish, is it shines. It literally polishes the paper. So you end up with a sheen where you don't get that with a Teflon. So this is the tonic one. I'll link you down below to where to get it. Um, I ended up buying this literally because I try where I can to support my little, my, my, my small businesses. So I went ahead and bought this from T over at Parts and Crafts. But this is a tonic one. So take your pick, but I'll, I will link you because I think it's important where we can to get this and the other thing was that of course i live close to her so i was able to arrange a, a drop off with her husband and so i met him and i picked up a kit for a class i took a, a class from her yesterday and i picked up and i got her in the morning i said hey look in the order can you add my she's on my bone folder in the order she's already done you don't get that when you mail order and i'm and i admit i'm lucky that i live nearby which is why i, I mean i would have bought it from her no matter what i was already planning on it but that was the added bonus. Anyway, that's that. So now I've got this all folded. So I am literally ready to start adding all of my pieces, all of my paper pieces. So what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is on my sample, I pretty much inked everything. I, I inked all of it. So I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to grab my worn lipstick and do I have any red pieces? No. So I think I can get by doing warm lipstick on well I don't I don't think I'm gonna do these these little pieces but I will these and I obviously don't need to do the envelope but I plan on embellishing the envelope so let me go ahead and where is my dauber did Elvis steal it no nope, I managed to get it back from he did I picked it up off the floor last night 
from where he stole it. I don't know what is his obsession, this cat's obsession with the daubers. Specifically, he'll come, trapes across my desk, and I have right here to my, my right here, I have my tonic caddy, and it sits in there. He knows to look, and if he doesn't see it, you'll see him pawing and digging. It's just, an, and I sit here bemused watching him in hilarity, and, I, and then I watch him trapes, I go, he'll grab it, and I watch him take it off, and I go, I know where he goes. This is not a big place. So he takes it, he'll first try to roll it on the carpet and realizes, yeah, this isn't going to work, and then he goes for the kitchen floor. It's just funny. Anyway, I'm talking too much and not getting enough done, and this is why these videos go long. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just, you know, living with cats, it's hilarious. I mean, I love, I have Bo the Basset Howl, and he's, he's, he's 10 years old now, and I adore my dog. He's an old man now, and very much into his old man sleeping all day dumb, except when he wants to go up and get, you know, get up and be, he gets up and wants to be let out, or he gets up and wants to be fed. But the cats, oh my goodness, are just, especially Elvis, who's the youngster. You know, I have Squeaky, who's also, she's my, 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 my old lady. She's 14 years old. She's a sweetheart. And she just wants to hang out with me. So she doesn't care if there's a space. She says, if I fits, and that's, and as long as she thinks she fits, I sits. It doesn't matter if it's right in the middle. She'll sit, literally park herself right on top of, top of stuff. And I, and I look at it like a really. And then I scratch her into her satisfaction, and then she moves on. And that's all she wants. A little bratty wants, you know, just wants attention. But, and I give it to her because, you know, if we, that's why we have pets, don't we? They're here to company, you know, keep us company and to entertain us. So, and we return them by feeding them, cleaning their cat boxes and giving them love. So it's, it's a two way street and, you know, of hilarity. I don't know what I do without them. Really, I do. I've always, I've had always some sort of a pet, even if it was only fish, you know, and I do, I have right across the, or here for me is my beta tank and I have, you know, sushi. And that he's another story I'll tell him on another day. But I have a baiter right here, and you don't you, how much you can't interact with the fish. But I do like you know, I I, I look over and it makes me happy to see you know, it's calming because it's a like waterfall tank, so it's three tanks and one waters into the other one. So I get that nice little trickling water. Although right now I could tell it's making that noise. It means I need to add water to the tank again. That and it's not that that it um. It's not that the water dries out or dehydrate, not dehydrate. What's the word I'm looking for? You guys know, and I can't think of it anyway. It's that the cats think it's a drinking fountain. So they'll come over and lap from the water where it's like a, it's like a faucet. They love, so I have to, you know, I keep a, a gallon of, you know, of water right there so that I can fill it. Cause about at least once a day I'm in, I'm over there cause they like the good water. Ugh. It's the things I do to accommodate the critters around here. So I have to keep adding water to the fish tank because the cats come over there and drink out of it. It's just hilarious. And, and that is the life of me and my pets. The goldfish is the only one, the goldfish, and then we have a 20 gallon tank in our bedroom. So the goldfish and Pinky the Placosimus that started life like this, he, he's been with me like eight years, and I've had him seven years, he's about like this big. When I got him from Walmart, he's like this big now. He's huge, he's over a foot tall, along. Just, you know, it's like, where are you going, dude? just this big old prehistoric fish and I'm like wow you've been around I don't know I, I don't know I, I should look up how long placosimuses last I know that a goldfish will live like 20 years if they're well taken care of and um my newest little goldfish is um I, I got him at PetSmart and he's already doubled in size since I've had him so he's on his way to becoming a little tubby little fish so okay I've got while I'm sitting here just jibber jabbering I've got everything that I was going planning on inking inked so now let me just to be safe let me grab i'm gonna grab and i'm gonna wipe my hands down to make sure i have not picked up any ink which i notoriously do and now we can just start laying down our pieces so i'm gonna grab big mama and i'm going to start with we'll start with this piece because i really like it that is such a pretty piece i had such a hard time it was not so i had a hard time cutting this paper because it's all i have until I can lay my hands on some more. And I'm obviously in the Valentine-y mood and I'm, and I'm planning on getting more just because I really, I really, really like the paper. Not like next year there'll be new pretty paper that I'll have to have because we all know this. I don't even know why I'm, I'm saying that I'm going, I'm going to anyway, because I really like the pad and it'll get used. You know, I mean, because I am planning on at least sending out Valentine's, not just to my Valentine, but my husband, but also to, you know, my niece, my mom, just friends and families that I want to send cards to. And then, uh-oh, 
Look at that. Guess who did not trim the other side? See, no matter what. So this is all for the blooper reel. Alrighty, I am back. I realized that half the reason it was sticking still outside because I was trying to do this with the, the, the tape still on it is that I never removed the plastic protecting film on the on my um, We Are Memory Keepers, my, my small trimmer, which, uh, yeah, obviously it's really new. Um, and I still didn't remove it. <laughs> I you actually peeled it, put it back down because I'm crazy in that way. I just whipped out my caterpillar, which is what I should have done in the first place. And I cut it right off. This is still, it still feels tacky. So we're going to take a chance and we're going to go ahead and glue it down. I just trimmed off the little, the little like 16th of an inch that I meant to have. I should have done eighth of an inch so that now, and I'm just going to put it down there. So I, I, I do this and I don't make mistakes on purpose. I just leave them in here because I feel it's important to keep it real. And I know that other YouTubers don't do it. But I, I think it's important that you all know that making mistakes is okay. And you're not the only one. Again, I have raised it to an art form. So don't, you know, beat yourself up when you're like, oh, and you found that you have measured it for the fourth time and you still cut it wrong. I have probably done it five. Whatever it is, I've done it better. <laughs> you know, we should all be good at something, so I guess that should be it. Okay, let me make sure before I put this piece on, these two pieces on, that they're facing. Oh, it doesn't matter because the, the hearts are all, you know, all over the place, so. Let's just, and these two strips, one goes on the inside, one goes on the outside. Look, I'm trying, this is what I should have done. I've done it that way. See, I'm telling you. Some days I kind of scare myself. Okay, there's that one. And I'm just going to flip it over. And I'm just going to tape this down. There we go. And my little, little strips here. I like it to be closer. There we go, to the edge. And I still didn't close enough, but ah. Eh. And again, it doesn't matter. These are all in all directions. Me, just There we go. So it lies flat while I now peel it up off. Gosh darn it the glass and we'll now just take these two down so I got that down got this down <laughs> now all I need is the big panel and there's only one direction to do it how can I possibly go wrong don't 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 doubt me yep this I before I do anything yep I did trim it right oh let me just now and I ran out of time all right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, let's try this again. So, joke's on me. Just because, you know, one thing should go wrong, why should not be more? Be more my camera filled up. And it's, what I use is my cell phone or the, the older cell phone from the last trade down. I'm using that now. And the chip, 64 gigabytes fills up and nothing flat, apparently, when you're shooting videos. It's just that I hadn't downloaded the other ones. Duh. So, here I am, back again, one more time. So, by the time I realized that it had died i had already gotten this panel glued down so i went ahead took a musical interlude and i i downloaded the videos onto the computer and now i'm back ready to keep on going so what i was talking about sadly and you guys didn't know about is that i was ready to put the sentiment down here and i just didn't like the look of it by itself so i went in and grabbed the piece of the pink my the that came with the kit and i'm planning on i'm gonna mat it that will make me happy. I mean, it'll make it a little bit bigger, but come on, it's a Valentine's card. It's not like I have to, you know, write um, a whole lot. Oh, actually, you know, you know what? Take it back. I take this back. I'm crazy. <laughs> I know that this is such a shock. <laughs> After all that rigmarole, I'm going to stamp something here. I plan on putting it here. <sighs> okay, anyway, there we go. Don't Don't listen to me, guys, really. I don't know why you come here. Just, I mean, just to see. I hope I at least make you feel better that you're not the only one. Or maybe I am the only one. Who knows? But let's apply our tape here. I am such a dork. Oh, my lordy. But I'm having fun here. You know what, guys? Even when I make the mistakes, some of them are really doozies. And, you know, it's like, what the heck? Okay, so now to make things easier. Okay, be right back. The thing went crazy. Alrighty, I'm back again. And don't lie to me, I know at least one of you guys, Sanders, go, this is why I don't get the ATG. 
well i still love my atg i've never i've done other things my atg has gone crazy and done other things but this isn't this is a new one on me but i still love it of course it's going to happen on camera and in spanish what i would say la cosa que me pasan a mí no le pasan a nadie um literal english translation would be guys i cannot make this stuff up <laughs> It's just, there you go. I mean, that's not the literal translation, but that's the English equivalent of what I just said in Spanish. So, oh my goodness. There we go. But I'm still having fun. What the heck? What else do I have to do on a Sunday morning, right? I could be, you know, I could be sleeping. Eh, it's overrated. Yeah, I, I could be, you know, doing the dishes that need to be done. Oh, that's really overrated. But no, I'm doing this and I'm having fun. So, in the grand scheme of things, I am not complaining. So there we go. Now I'm ready to glue this down. Let's see what hell happens now. Maybe I shouldn't, you know, taunt the fates. I should just, you know, like, okay, we're just going to do our thing. Don't tempt the fates because who knows what will happen. You know, I still have two more cards to go. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. Let me just tape it down. Put this down before I do something else. Cray cray. Let's see. Let me do the centering thing. That looks pretty good. Doesn't have again. Remember, guys, as I always say, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be because it is the beauty of a handcrafted item. Okay, so I'm going to now. I'm ready. I've got everything else on here. All I have to do really is stamp. Oh, and let me do my belly band. So I can do that. So I'm ready to put my strip on here. So, oh, let's see, there's a, did you see that? There's a smudge there. So, oh, look, there's a solution. No more smudge. Smudge, be gone with you. And I'm just going to try to more or less center this. And what I did, let me see, is I literally took, take my bone folder and kind of mark it so I can see those. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can. It literally, see what I mean? Can you guys see that shiny? I hope you can. This is what I say what the bone folder does, but that's enough for me to see it. I'm going to come in. I don't need, I could use the little one, but I don't want to. I'm just going to bring out this big, huge thing for a little scrap of piece of paper just because I can. Maybe this might backfire on me because I can barely see it. Which glasses? Oh, that's half the reason. In the rigmarole, I switch glasses. There we go. Much better. I really just need to get progressives and bite it. And nope. I forgot. Remember, we fold into the valley, so I needed to score on this side. Because if I had left it scored that way, then we would see the offending smudge. Where's the other one? There we go. I can barely gosh, I can barely see. Give me a second. Okay, I see it now. There we go. Okay. All right. I'll grab that. We'll put it back in its place here to my right. We'll put it back to my right. There we go. And then I'm just going to fold it. Grab the Teflon non-marking folder. There we go. And what I should have done, which is what I normally do, but I'm not thinking, because why? It's a day off. I don't think. It hurts. <laughs> Let's see. With luck. This should have worked fine. Yes, it's fine. There we go. See? Although, quite frankly, it is a little tight. But it's still going to work. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Okay. Okay. So what I do want to do is there's an awful lot of overlap here. So I am going to, just because it bothers me, I'm going to take a snippet off it uh, off. And I don't think it really matters which end I take it off of. I'm going to take it off the bottom one. I don't know why, I just am. So I'm going to snip off. And I really should, I should pay attention to how much I take off. So that way I can just adjust how much I cut, how big I cut this strip. Yeah, that's about fine. So I'm gonna save that piece and measure it out later and then adjust my measurement on my notes. So if I wanna do this card again, and I will, you know, this lends itself. I mean, I'm giving you the template. You can now do any, you can apply this to any card that you wanna make, quite frankly. Okay, so now we're going to take and 
apply tape. I really should have done double-sided tape because I knew that was gonna, was gonna go off the edge. But I'm just making haste. Okay, so there we go. And then I cut this little strip just so I had it here on the front. And then I really should, do I care? I think I'm not gonna worry about the fact that there is no on the end, it's not perfectly framed. I'm just gonna leave it like that because I just don't feel like cutting anymore. There we go. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Adapt, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be. Let me move this over here out of my way. And it really doesn't matter which way. And just get it centered, top and bottom. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. Let me do that. Okay. There we go. And then all I have is to attach that. And put that little thing. Do I want to? My gosh, I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. But I don't know that I care. And I love, I picked the strip because look, I got, I love you twice. And then I go, I could pick a different sentiment. What do you guys think? Why am I asking? You guys are not going to see this till way after <laughs> I've uploaded it. Let me take a real quick peek. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to go through these and let me see if I find a, a better choice. All right, kids, I came back and I actually did find something I liked better. So then I had to, which of course sent me to left field and sent me looking for twine. So I'm going to use this one because that way I, I, it was important to me to have those, those two I love yous. And even though despite the say that it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be you know, I have my moments too. So I picked out this little guy and what I did is I went ahead and put it on a on a, on a piece of foam tape because I'm going to pop him out because heaven forbid it's this thing is not fat enough as is. So, And then I pulled up some twine, some of this uh, baker's twine that I had from I don't know how long I've had it or where I got it. I just did. And we're going to tr desperately try to find the beginning. Okay, that was the beginning. Yay. And I'm just going to snip off a piece of it. And we're going to try to put the label back on. Is that not crazy? Oh my gosh, it actually worked. <laughs> I thought of no, Myra, you're just going to sit there and waste camera time trying to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut off that little frayed end. And I'm going to, what am I going to do? Let me see. I'm going to do it. Let me see. Give me a second to think of what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this first, but I don't think that's going to work because I think I want to tie a bow. And this won't work. I think I just have to tie it on. Or maybe I can. Let's see. Here is where the nails and the fat fingers will not be in my favor. Is can I? I mean, sorry to grab it ears. Okay, we may be here three days now while Myra tries to tie a bow. Oi. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna widget this off camera. I'll be right back. It's uh, the minute I turned off the camera and started it, I got the bow to work, and I'm really happy. It turned out really cute, and I'm gonna leave the length, the the ends long. I other people might leave them short, but I this it's my card, so there you go. This is what I'm gonna do. So now let me just um make sure that this thing is stuck down, and then remove the backing, and then put it down on my belly band, making sure not to grab the ends. And no, I don't see the thing is I also don't want to after I go through all the effort of finding a tag that won't cover that allows me to see the both I love you's. Let me just now cover one of them just because I'm insane in that way. Okay, that's good enough. So now we have it, but we're not done yet because I've got a stamp right here. So now let me move this over and get rid of this. Let me toss this into my trash and let me clear some workspace here. There we go. And I'm gonna grab my Misty, which is right here, and I already have it still set up. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I do when I'm working with a bunch of stamps, when I still know I'm gonna work on, I leave, I just stick it to my lid for the moment. And I don't know if that's orthodox or not, but it's what I do. So there you go. Okay, so now I am ready to now stamp this down. And let me grab my two inks because I did use the Distress Oxide. I have, I have my clear embossing powder. I do need to grab 
my clear, no, it's whipped cream, clear pigment, because I didn't feel that this stays wet long enough to emboss. I know it, it, it it's, I've heard other people say yes, but I don't trust myself, so, and then pomegranate splash from FSJ, and I still have quite a few of these from FSJ days, and I still use them. I still like them. I'll have to, I will, I will say that. Oh my gosh. And now all my magnets are, still, did you hear that clink, clink? <laughs> they're all, they're all clinking together. Okay. So I'm now going to, whoops, that's not the side that gets stamped. This is the side that gets stamped. So let me put it in my misty, handy dandy misty. I think if I do it right, yeah, that's perfect. So I already have it. I left it preset up. So I'm just going to put a magnet down here. Where's the other one? And there, will it still work? No, of course it won't work. That was I thinking. I don't, I don't think, yeah, I can't even put it there. That should be okay. Now part of me it wants to use one of these, the bars which are stronger. But they're also wider. They're a little bit thicker. These I just bought off of Amazon to use with my Misty. So we'll see, we'll see how well this, now they stuck together. This is why I have them on little tabs. Be careful about that. Cause these, these can be very brittle by the same token. Okay, so I am ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna do, where's my, hang on there. Where's my little tray? There it is. In my embossing tray. i take the plug off of it so I'm ready to do this. I'm sure I'll find something else to do wrong, but for the moment, I think I might have my act together. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm just I'm gonna turn this sideways. I'm gonna ink up my pink first, my warm, worn lipstick, right? Isn't that what it is? Worn. I always want to say warm, but it's actually worn. I can't believe that. Can you guys see that? I've got cat hair on the stamp. I'm telling you, it's insidious. They want to incorporate themselves. I don't know what that is. That's just ink. It's a little frou-frou. Let me get rid of that too. Okay. I'm telling you. I say, there. you know, is it, I don't know, is it stuck to the stamp? Because there's another one that wasn't there a minute ago. This is crazy. There we go. Okay, let's try it again. I don't know if it's, you know what? I think I need to wipe. Let me wipe the stamp off, I'm wondering, or excuse me, because they're awful sticky. Maybe when I wiped it down, let's try that again. And I'm gonna wipe all of, all of them down real quick. And hopefully it's not picking it, because the only other place it could be picking it up. Okay. Okay. Now, let's try that again. So isn't that interesting? So see, I told you, I, I jinxed myself. Of course something else is gonna happen. This is me we're talking about. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me get nice, a nice good coating of pink. I love this pink, I really do. See, I, I've, I've already decided I've been lying to myself for quite a long time, I like pink. Or it's grown on me, I'm not sure which it is. Let's do that. Let's just get these stuck down. Is it? Yep, that looks good. I'm gonna get all the ink off of this that I can. Yep. I oh, see. There's a, still a little blank spot right there. How? Much better. But I still gonna give it a second coat because you can see there's a little. It didn't. But this bigger one, I knew I was gonna have to. I think I remember when the one I did that originally. I had to do it a couple, two or three times. But I want it because the paper just soaks up. Usually it just soaks up really quickly, the first one. So I have to go back in with the second one. Although this is a pretty new a new pad, so it's nice and juicy. Okay. And we'll do that. And then we'll go through here. Pick that up. Ah, oh, much better. Much better really happy with that 
I, I'm going to call that good. What do you guys think? I think it looks really good. So now I'm going to wipe it off again because now I'm going to go in with my clear embossing. Because it's pretty much dried up already. And this stuff stays wet. It's supposed to stay. I think I've heard. I could be wrong. I'm, you know, it wouldn't be the first time, right? Where is my clear pad right here? Where's the lid of this one? There we go. Now we're going to my clear pigment. And I'm going to put a couple of layers of clear pigment on here. Right? Just put it on nice and thick. And then, whoop. Press that down good. I need to get, oh shoot, I was at Staples yesterday and I meant to have gotten a dry erase board eraser. I've seen Amy R of Prairie Paper and Ink. She uses that and it seems like such a great idea. Although a rag would work just as well. And not, not that I don't have one like, you know, inches from my hand. Hello. I'm such a doofus. Oof. There we go. Okay. Got that. Do we have that? Okay. Let me... Right in the middle. It doesn't seem juicy enough. Although it probably is. I should get over myself. Right? Yeah. That looks good. I'm going to do this in two layers just because I don't want to leave you know, leave anything to chance. And set that aside. Grab my little, little tidy tray. My little recollections tidy tray. It doesn't have to be expensive. It just... And I probably bought this. Either it was on sale or I bought it with a 40% off coupon. One or the other. I refuse to pay for, you know, retail if I can get away with it. There we go. And I didn't stamp buddy this. I know. And I'm paying for it right now. Because that one. They're both. Where is my skinny brush? And this is why, peeps, you stamp buddy your paper first. But heaven forbid, I, I do, you know, do as I say, don't do as I do. Yeesh. Okay, that's good enough. I, that wasn't too bad. That's a little bit right here. Yep. Okay. Yeah! Go ahead, Myron. Now stick your finger in it, just for good measure. Now, let me turn around and grab my heat tool that I didn't grab already because again heaven forbid I should have my act together all right plug that in real quick I immediately turn it on so that it heats up a little bit Blah. and there we go that's emboss out yep even then it works in seconds we got those hearts going I likey. There we go. Pretty. Now I'm ready to go back in. Let me put my lid on that one real quick. Let me put the lid on that one because y'all know that I am going to make a hot mess of things. Now, let me set this. Let me wipe down my hearts because I'm done with them. So there's no reason for them to have ink on them. There we go. And now we'll put the card back in. Put my little magnets back in to hold it in place. Let me turn it this way. I just want to see everything is. I want to light. See, it's a little bit. I don't think it makes that much of a difference really in the sentiment, but there we go. Okay, that's just about perfect. Now I'm going to go in with my pomegranate splash and ink up love you and these are all all of these stamps came from this sheet the stamp sheet let me show that to you real quick again these are all part of the kit so i've pulled out this one i pulled out the list you can see and this one so all of these are already sitting in here so these are all from the stamp set and i and i love it because it's given me a lot to work with and I'm very very new to Simon Says I mean active I've, I've known about it but I've never played you know or gone over there and 
this year, courtesy of the pandemic, I'm now all over Simon Says Stamps. I discovered Stamp Timber um, and whatnot, and we were like, ooh. And now I'm always poking my nose in there. I'm, you know, I get the email, so I always know what's going on. God help me that that, that lifted up. I don't feel good about that. Let me see before I stamp down. Not that I have much choice. It looks good. It looks like it stayed in alignment. I'm going to push, let me see, I'm going to push my magnets a little bit closer. I think, let's see, can I do that? Looks like I can, we'll see. And we'll throw that one down there for good measure. Okay, sorry. I don't recall that happening the last time, so. Yeesh. do that again and we're gonna find out if this really was lined up or not because if it isn't boy am I ever gonna be upset and it doesn't oh what do you guys think should I keep it I knew that was gonna happen I had a bad feeling about that it is lifting up there's something to be said about keeping it real, and then maybe there's sometimes there's some too much reality. So I went ahead, I got it stamped right this time. You saw I did my stamping, but yay me, I remembered. And then I went ahead and off camera, I put, I literally carefully just peeled everything off. And you know, that helps with the big mama, it, that it makes it a little bit easier to peel off. And then I just reapplied them under the new card blank. I happen to have already had this cut out because I already planned on doing a second card. I could, like I said, if, if, if you do one, why not do three or five? What the heck? I have kept this one and I'm going to, I'm going to do something with this. I'm still going to salvage it, but now I've got to use different paper, but I have some here. Um, I, I'm thinking I'm going to cut out a little panel and corner chomp it or something decorative, but I'm going to do it in another color. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to go in with a red panel and then emboss it in gold or black, whichever to keep in, in, in um, combined with this so that it looks like I did it on purpose. Um, but so I'm not wasting this so it's gonna come back in some other reincarnation and I'll probably tack it to the end of this video So you guys see how I fixed it, but I saved this and and there you go And I here's what I realized I did and I had done this the night before I did the sample And then I came in today to videotape when I laid it down here. That was my mistake I had to have laid it out flat and that way the magnets held it in place. So that was my mistake so just you guys learn from where I blow it. But that's it. I don't mind keeping these in because, again, now you learn. So this card, in all reality, it's done. It's only taken me three hours. No, not really, but it sure as heck feels like it. And there you go. All I have to do is stamp my sentiment on it. But I'm, I, this is really cute. I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. So now we're going to move on to our next card. So give me a second. I'm going to move this all out of the way and pull out the goodies for the next one. I forgot, I'm not done. I forgot that I was gonna add this tag right here in this little blank spot. So let me just do that really quickly. I'm just going to, I'm not even, I don't wanna dimensionalize it. I'm just taping this puppy down. There we go. Add my little tape here, my little piece right up here. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm actually going to, I don't know if I'm gonna poke that out or not, or just even, no, I, want, I do wanna poke it out. There we go. I'm not gonna add cord or anything to it. I'm going to stay right there. There we go. Let's just put that down. I didn't want to have that little blank spot right there. That looked, oh no, bring it down a little bit more. Take it closer to the edge. I want it hidden. Yeah, I just want it hidden by the back panel. We're going to call that good. And I haven't decided if I'm going to leave that blank or add a piece of paper. That, there's a part of me that wants to. I just don't know if I have enough of this left. So maybe I'll show you in a picture later what I did. All right, guys. But there you go. Now it's done. Now we're just going to move on to... Oh, heck. We're going to move on to the next card, okay? 